Well, hey everybody, your good buddy 650 Eve here and I'm live, YouTube live. One of the first times I've done this in a long time and I'm here in beautiful Miami, Florida. It's nighttime. Just completed a long day of riding and tinkering with these amazing motorcycles. And we're here at Miami Manny's private residence. And this is our good buddy, Walter Byers. His S1000 double R that he won by supporting the new bike build series. He's here with us right now. What's up, guys? Hey, hey. See, I still have the bike. He it's hasn't real. sold it yet. <laughs> yes. Not going to. Not going to happen. Good. Sorry. I'm keeping it. Showpiece. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. Yes. I love it. We went out riding today. You had a good time. I had a great time. Mm -hmm. Really nice weekend. I appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, everybody talks about the bike game being given away. The best experience about the bike being given to me was also the people that I got to meet, the experiences that I'm gaining now. Guys, it, it's, we became a family. It's like a family riding with these guys. It's a lot of fun. Manny, Eve, I even got to meet uh, <laughs> Manny's brother. Manny's clone. Come on over here, clone. <laughs> he, yeah. He's hiding over there, but it, it's been an awesome time. I'm sure there's more to yeah. come. There's Manny Jr. Manny Jr. <laughs> Manny Sr., come on. Because you're older than Manny by a couple years. Yeah, two. Two years. Yeah. yeah. But they look like freaking twins, yeah, don't they? That's for sure on a bike. Yeah, yes, yes. So you guys haven't seen the videos that I'm going to upload here. I got another one coming for Wednesday. Um, but we wanted to do this live stream to show you this bike that Miami Manny has been working on for weeks and weeks and weeks. And it is absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to present this bike to you right now on this live stream. This is a motorcycle that Manny calls the V4X. And as you can see there, it is number one. And uh, we just want to get your opinion on this guy, on this bike, guys. And we see the, the, the comments coming through on the live stream here. And um, what do you guys think of this amazing full carbon Ducati Pentagale V4? Now, this bike started its life off as a, just a base V4. It wasn't an S or anything, right, Manny? No, just a completely base, base model bike. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to show you guys what you can do with a base bike, you don't need to go and buy the R. You could, um, we could either do a complete bike for you, you could do it yourself, or you could do bit by bit. You know, it's uh, yes. you don't have to do the whole thing at once. But the comments I'm seeing so far, Manny, uh, looks expensive, beautiful, insanely <laughs> beautiful. Uh, my good buddy Galaticus is saying, "What's up? How are you?" But these people are going crazy. Can you see that on the? Oh, yeah. you can see him on the screen there. That's so, dope. so uh, Manny, yeah, so Manny Jr. over there is uh, is actually looking, and we can see the comments on the screen. So, yeah. Um, oh, somebody, uh, you so hot says we're interrupting The Walking Dead. My apologies. I haven't watched <laughs> The Walking Dead in like 15 seasons ever since they uh, captured Negan. And then uh, the other guy died or something and went away. But anyway, Five yeah. Up's in the house. Our good buddy uh, Steve is in the house, Miami Manny. Steve, what do you think of this beautiful Penegale V4X with all this amazing carbon? Manny, while, we're, while Steve is, is writing his reply, can you please come over and show the audience some of the things you've done to this motorcycle? Oh, the whole bike. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we've done a lot, actually. The I bought it, like we got a base bike because we were going to change everything. So the complete forks are changed. It's got the oldness black line forks. Wow, I see that. I didn't notice that at first. Yeah. So this is this is a street bike. Yeah. By no means this is a track bike. Yes. Uh, it, well, it could be a track bike, but I don't know if you want to lay this down on a track. Yeah. But we got the GP4 MS calipers, wow. the caliper cooling ducts, all, all carbon brake lines, including the clutch line. From Frentubo? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the... The rotor box bullet carbon wheels on there. I see that. We haven't sure changed the, the rotors yet yeah. on the front because the rotors, unfortunately, Brambo has a big back order on the T-drives. As soon as yes. those are available, we're going to do it. And on the back while you're there, wow. uh, we put a matching uh, CNC rear rotor, <laughs> uh, the rear caliper, the, the rear rotor. That's beautiful. That is uh, actually Full of which exhaust. Yeah, yes, indeed. Um, yeah. The dry clutch. Um, rear sets. Yeah, the Litec R series rear sets. Mm -hmm. The dry clutch, just like on your V4R. Uh, so yes, guys. So Manny took the took the wet clutch out. He replaced it with the dry clutch, and it does sound amazing. Um, a, a fuel cap burst on the S1000 again today when I was trying to do a smackdown because, of course, I overfilled the fuel and it burst again like it did when I was in Istanbul, Turkey. So we had to pull off on the side of the road and wait at a Home Depot for Manny to return with another fuel cap. While we were waiting, I heard this bike pulling up with the clink clinking clattering and I absolutely loved it. 
it sounded amazing. Yeah, so, yeah. I think that's the, the you know it's what you feel and what you hear on a yes. bike that really really changes your uh, your your experience with it. And if you come here, everything. Yes, clutch first, Mike. Out. Mike, I'm sorry, I'm he's, I'm, I'm going to stop in, in the middle of this for some questions. But Mike was asking, is mine a dry clutch? And yes, mine is a dry clutch. Yes. Also, the Ducati Panigale V4R comes standard with a dry clutch. So what is Five Up saying? Five Up says he loves the bike. Obviously doesn't agree with the dry clutch. If I purchase an R or a Super Legera, we call it a Super Leg, he would convert it to a wet clutch. So it's it's not for everyone, but yeah, well, there's there's no right or wrong, right? Yes. If, if Steve likes his uh, wet <laughs> clutches, you know, sure, why, why not? Um, yes. But I, I really, I'm an old school Ducati guy. Whenever yes. you heard a Ducati, you used to hear the dry clutch. That's right. I loved it. Some people don't like it. I like it. It makes me feel like I'm riding a proper bike. But, yes. Um, obviously, the MotoGP reviews with that too, right? Yeah, because all the MotoGP bikes have dry clutches. Yeah. Why don't you have the uh, the lever guard on here yet? Uh, because we just finished the bike today, mm -hmm. and you know we want to get some footage with the bike, and that wasn't the yeah. priority. But if you come and look over here, everything sure. is blacked out. Yes. Um, this actually is a uh, this this was a hard piece to get because, as you know, the the black line Olin's steering dampers are only available from the dealer. Yes. Um, and they're 700 bucks, which is way too much money for it. But we were able to figure one out for this bike. Again, if you see, everything is carbon. Yeah, all even this part was carbon. I love yeah, this yeah. part up here. The instrument yeah. carbon. Everything, yeah. if you turn around, even all the dash inside, I don't know if it's going to be able to show us. Oh, it yeah. might be too dark. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, you can see that right there. Favorite uh, Skittles. <laughs> uh, well, I, 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 I love these things, but I, I see what he says that they can get confusing to use. Yes. Um, as we, when I first got on it, I haven't even touched it. I'm like, how do we change the modes? Yes. But we figured that um, all the, the Bremel Master Cylinders clutch and brake. Oh, yeah. Over here on this side and on the other side. Yeah. Is the same way. So I have an announcement to make for you folks that were kind enough. All 295 of you. This is a lot of people, Manny. This well, is the most awesome. I've had on the live stream. So for those of you folks that decided to join us today on the live stream, we will continue to talk about this bike in a second, but I want to make an announcement. I have decided not to get the Super Legera and instead... Um, I'm going to leave this bike here in Miami with Manny, and we're going to do some upgrades to my V4R yeah. to make it more like this bike and uh, make it even more special. Yeah, I think, you know, it would be a shame because this itself is um, a special, even I think more special than a Super Legere because of all so the too. stuff that's been done to this. Yes. Uh, we can still improve it because we can go through this, I think. Yes. Um, and a couple of the parts, you know, take some of these covers off here. That really, yep. if, you, if you want to show the difference, to oh, see yeah. what people think. Yeah. This is a plastic cover on the engine valve cover, and if you go over to the V4X, it's removed. Yeah, it's and removed. It looks so great. that we just see the the magnesium, yes. right? Is that magnesium on top? Yeah, that's a it looks great. So we're going to do that on my bike. We're also going to put the uh, the nickel plated rotors on my bike. We're going to put the uh, other other Brimble thingy over here <laughs> on my bike with the clear. Uh, hoses yeah. and stuff. That's no going to be amazing. No Skittle buttons because I still like the usability of the stock um, levers and stuff. But I love carbon, but I appreciate a hint of color and style. Oh, oh somebody well. said that. So, well, show, show, let's let's show them then, Manny. Show them a little hint of so, color yeah, and style. So, uh, we, we were having an argument here. Um, a very it, heated it, argument. It, was, it wasn't an argument. I was about to be ejected out of this house argument <laughs> over that. So yeah. Um, I don't want to leave this bike carbon. And I want you to leave it carbon because I think it looks amazing. It looks menacing. It looks like something that Darth Vader would ride when he was both Anakin Skywalker and when he was evil. He would ride this motorcycle. But you want to introduce some color onto the bike. Yeah. Can you bring over the, uh, the stickers? Well, and th this is just the stickers. This is not the color, but this the idea is to make this mm -hmm. bike look like a GP20 motor GP bike. Yes. Um, at least in the paint scheme. We would leave the tank carbon. Mm -hmm. um, some of the subframe would stay carbon, but it will get painted at the back. Sort of like what's, what you did to my bike. This is the yeah. same um, subframe that you have installed on my yeah, bike. That's a complete carbon fiber monocoque subframe. So it starts all the way from where the subframe starts and goes all the way back. And that's right. all one piece carbon. So when you introduce a little color into it, like my good friends at Ducati Detroit did to my bike, it would look good, I, I have to say. But Yeah, but we have the, the complete deco kit. Obviously, it's not going to be just deco. It's actually going to get painted. Yes. Um, some carbon will stay on the bike, but that was the idea. But um, 
I guess it was uh, three to one, I guess, almost here. <laughs> yeah, well, and that well, guy being yeah, the biggest yeah. guy in the room, I think he's 17 to <laughs> one for us. Fletch, First New York says, gets muted with too much carbon. Mm -hmm. Mr. Orlando Abucha says, leave it carbon. Yes. Somebody says, it's amazing, I agree. Someone, and someone no. says, no color. <laughs> 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 so you got mixed emotions, mixed feelings. I, I say you should take a poll. Yeah. Take a poll. Yeah. I'm so just know. just to clarify you guys he's not going to put stickers on the bike he we were just using those stickers as a reference we'll read that big comment that somebody just left he was just going to use those stickers as a reference point what he would do would be exactly what the good folks at ducati detroit did to my bike and that is paint over introduce some paint but it didn't show your carbon. belly pan this this belly pan is a complete race carbon be belly pan you see the carbon accents here yes yeah so I, it, it would look tasteful it would look more like the hp4 race looks with a tasteful amount of paint on it, but I just think that this look, this reminds me so much of the 2021 Ford GT. It's all carbon and looks great. Some of the uh, Bugattis are carbon like this, and I think it just looks really, really amazing. I could be saying that because I'm used to a painted bike, and now I'm seeing something that's totally different, but um, I really do think this is an amazing motorcycle. Now, back to the Supe Legera. I have another announcement for you on that regard. I do have a good buddy that lives in California, a very well-known celebrity that I'm not going to mention right now until we make our video together. He has purchased a, a Super Legera. He's purchased number 33. And when he gets that bike, he said, I can come out to Santa Barbara, California, where he resides, and we can make videos together. He'll let me ride it. We'll do Smackdowns. So you will see a Super Legera on my channel. It just won't be one that I personally own myself. Because, to be honest with you guys, I have a C8 that I purchased. I have that big 28-foot uh, trailer that I purchased. Uh, my wife and I just purchased a new home that's being built from the ground up right now. Um, and so we have a lot going on, and the Superleggera just doesn't fit in the equation right now. And on top of that, our good buddy Miami, Miami Manny is going to add some amazing parts. To his bike. We made a list of all the parts that he's going to add. And then I'm going to come back here to Miami in early April and uh, collect this motorcycle and bring down the C8 to do a track day at the same time. So that'd be awesome. Yeah. So what, what's going on with the comments there, Manny, Manny part two. So, okay. <laughs> Shelby, well, Shelby, Shelby Miles, Miles I guess it is, he says he wants to meet you, he's been trying to meet you, he's here in Miami, but he got injured yeah, he in a really bad motorcycle accident. Oh man. Shelby, get well soon, brother. Yeah, get I'm well sure soon. This is not the last time he will be down no, here. No, I'll be back you in know? early April as a matter of yeah, fact. We so already have the date set. It'll he be... says everything broke. <laughs> Everything was broke on me. Oh my god! So, brother, get well. You know, yeah, man. Guys, ride safe. You yeah, get it a well lot. soon, my friend. Get well soon. My my condolences to you. I hope you uh, heal up very soon. I will be back in Miami in early April with the C8 vet. So, if you're able to come out for that, see the vet, see the bikes. The V4R will be there. I'll bring two other bikes with me because I can hold three bikes in the trailer. So, um, yeah, come on out. Maybe even my good buddy Five Up might come down with me. You never know. Even Nima's getting. Uh... Nima's getting shout outs. Brian Emery is shouting out to Nima. Really? Yeah. Nima's a celebrity on my channel. That's awesome. Maybe he's the one that's getting super leisure. Uh, they were asking, are there any engine mods done to the V4X? No. Well, just the exhaust and the proper which race flash, but that's it. Okay. And the dry clutch is technically an engine mod, yeah. I assume. Um, these bikes have been, these bikes have been phenomenally um, you know, in, in terms of reliability, they've had no issues whatsoever. Yes. Um, again, I said that this is a street bike. Yes. Um, you know, you want to enjoy your bike and have it reliable. Yeah, you could do some engine stuff to bikes, but I'm not big on that, to be honest. We're not racing for a million dollars on a racetrack that, you know, there's uh, championships in, in place and stuff. We just want to enjoy what we're doing. And as we saw today, the, the bike was actually surprisingly quick or oh yeah felt to me surprisingly quick too it is very quick uh, i tried to do some smackdowns with you on walter's uh brin tuned he has the current brin tuned flash on there and like i've been saying for years and years guys the s1000 just really doesn't have uh, quite enough power to keep up with a well-tuned and well-running uh Pentagalli v4 or v4r for yeah. that matter I, so. I i don't know i never looked into it it would be really cool to do some titanium internals just to save weight and maybe get it to rev high like an R at 1100 cc. Yes. Um, but then again, these bikes are, they got so much power that I, I don't see necessary to do it. But hey, yeah. if someone wants to do it, we'll give it a try. 
let's make our way outside. We have some uh, Ninja H2, uh, Porsche GT4, and uh, Corvette, more Corvette C8 announcements coming. But we want to talk to you about something that happened today when we were riding the H2s on the beautiful streets of Miami. Uh, we went out on the 2016. We also took out the 2019 build bike, and we did some riding. And then our battery failed because of yeah. the re regular rectifier or something like that. Yeah, it's either the charge. Well, I guess the charging system's not charging the bike. We had mm -hmm. another battery in the car uh, in the bike. We thought that um, it was a bad battery, even though we just got it in Atlanta. I guess uh, the good folks gave them to you over there because you again same thing happened over there. Yes. Um, and then we had the same issue here. We decided to put an anti-gravity battery in it. Yes. And this is not a commercial whatsoever. No, this truly but, happened. But, yeah, and, and also it, it was kind of cool because these batteries have that restart function that you press a button. Um, if the battery is about to die, it shuts itself off and you can restart the bike. They, they said six times. Yes. Um, we're in downtown Miami in traffic. Walter was riding the bike. The bike shut off. Yes. But no power whatsoever. Yeah, and we pulled over, and I quickly thought, "Hey, it's got to be the battery because we had we've been having issues. You can't see, but there's a so restart the battery. Yeah, yeah, right on top. We clicked that, verified that. It, I guess it was the charging system that wasn't charging at that point because since this is a brand new battery that was in there, and we're on our way, and we're just charging it up right now. Yes. Just a quick thing for everybody who has a lithium battery, you need a lithium specific charger. Yes. You cannot put these on a regular tender. What does that um, look like, Manny? Uh, that just looks like any other battery charger, but it's, it's meant for a uh, lithium charger. That's a CTEC lithium charger. We're just charging the battery up because you don't want to leave a lithium battery dead. Yes. Uh, that's when all the problems start. You don't want to jump these batteries with cars and stuff like that because it really uh, hurts electronics and you could have some issues. Okay. But yeah, so that was our story. We didn't get stranded. We, we, we started actually twice and made, 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 made our made our way back home yes and this is the build this is the bike. build bike looks great people are commenting that they like the swing arm and things of that nature i think i like yeah. it too king david painted it to match the frame we've had several videos about this and now it's kind of nighttime, so i don't know if you can see it all that well but uh oh, somebody just commented on your porsche so one of the reasons why we took the cover off is we want to talk to you that manny and i will be doing a track day at what track is that uh palm beach international raceway pbir pbir i'll have the c8 you'll have this car manny is a semi-professional race instructor he's very good on the track and uh, my good friends at alpine stars fitted me with a complete um safety suit and gloves and all that kind of stuff so we will take his gt4 out and uh as, as, as <laughs> along with my c8 and that'll be an awesome awesome uh video stream there the Rossi sticker on there. I, I was trying to yeah you, you yeah, got to focus Rossi. on that yeah there's Ross. can we give it a cold start please sure, give it. Give it. so we got a cold start for uh, three weeks actually. for three so, weeks cheese i'm busy guys yeah busy building the d4x that yeah like that took all your time They like it. Lots of good comments about the car. Thanks, guys. Yeah. It's actually due for a transmission change because of a recall. Okay. You get the brand new transmission soon. Okay. Oh yeah, it went <laughs> a little bit because the battery was almost a, almost in start. Oh yeah, I saw that. Let's see if we can uh, show you the inside a little bit. Carbon fiber seats. Carbon fiber seats? Nice. I think I have those on my C8. I think I spec mine out like that. You can see it on the driver's side. I don't know if the... Oh yeah, there's a light shining on that one. Yeah. I like how it quiet down. This is a six speed or seven? Uh, six speed. Six speed six manual. manual yeah. yeah. Alcatara uh, steering wheel, I see. Yeah, and then Alcatara interior pieces. Yeah. It's very nice. Roll bar. Yep, I see the roll bar back there. So it's all tracked out. Yeah, it's also got uh, full Brembo braking on it. So it's not the stock brakes. The rotors have been upgraded. The pads nice. have been upgraded. Very nice. Somebody says they want to see flames. <laughs> oh, it, make, it still has cats in it, so okay. it's not going to do any flames. Unfortunately, but we're, we're seeing a lot of flames with the V4X, actually. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We're Russ, Russ, uh, Russ Newton says that the V4R is a bike that I should never sell, and Manny 
is on point with that. Respect from the UK. Thank you very much. Uh, Beweezy says, sick car. Uh, and then someone calls it a punch bug, so I guess I have to punch you. <laughs> now, uh, there we go. Very clean video. Yeah, it's great. Great, yeah. great, great. All right, guys. Well, yeah, this is a 20-minute long live stream. I hope you enjoy it. Another person says, what bike does Manny own? What bike do you own? Well, technically, that V4X is my bike right now. Mm -hmm. um, but that's it for now. It's, yes. uh, as, you, as you experienced in Miami, riding is not oh. as... Uh, as you expected no today. it's not you guys will see in my videos we tried to go out and do smackdowns there's way too much traffic it's just i mean it's it's more of a beautiful scenic place to ride if you like skyscrapers and water and stuff like that and expensive cars that you're gonna i passed freaking mclaren's today 488s uh, that big rolls royce drop head that yeah, we saw well, the other day they're all over the place yeah here, so, so it's, uh, it's good for that kind of yeah. stuff but it's not good for smackdown so i told manny that we're going to have him come out to either uh north carolina to hang out with boosted catfish and his crew uh on their tuesday bike nights or we may have him come to georgia or alabama to do some serious smackdown can i give an answer to that question about what, what bike uh, do i have yes other than v4x i think i was really impressed with the ace shoes that's what you said in the yeah, video I, yeah I, I, I can't say enough about these bikes and whoever gets to win that build bike is so yes. lucky because that is an extremely cool bike. It really is, especially with all the green accents. We're not done yet. We yeah. still have your Rotobox uh, boost wheels coming for it with green accents yep. and uh, engine mods from uh, Travis Yeager and Jeremy Weber if it, coming. If it becomes anything like your issue, yes, it will. Oh man, I, I, I'm jealous. <laughs> first thing I said when I rode this bike, after the first day I rode it, I said, uh oh, um, I might get into the H2 thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, as I like to tinker with stuff and see what else we could do or change stuff up from what we've seen before, that H2. One, one thing I wouldn't change is that swing one. That yeah. is a beautiful piece. I agree. To help keep it planted and actually put yeah. that power down to the and, pavement. And just, just look at it, you know, yeah. it just doesn't want. It takes the stigma away from extended swing arms yes when you have this beautiful single-sided made from one piece of billet aluminium all right yeah well thank you manny from what for sharing a piece of your home with us and uh and uh sharing the v4x i'm going to make another video on manny's v4x when i return here to miami in early april to collect my v4r that i am now keeping and not getting the super Legera. stay tuned for more videos on the super Legera when i meet up with my good buddy in california so uh, thanks for viewing the live stream, guys, and Manny, we'll see you everyone. Well, thanks for the support, guys. See you guys. Yep, bye now. Cool.